There are 195 countries in the world today. Many of these countries have changed their names. There are many reasons for this name change. Sometimes it happens due to changes in borders, conflicts, gaining independence, or to honor a leader. Some countries split into two and get new names, and some change names to attract more tourists. But here's the interesting part: changing a country's name is not an easy task. It can cost millions of dollars. For example, in 2019, Macedonia changed its name. It became the Republic of North Macedonia after a long disagreement with its neighbor Greece. So, what's the procedure to change a country's name? Let's see about that now. First and foremost, the name change topic should be discussed and debated in the country's legislative body or parliament. In some cases, the name change might be put to a public debate or even a national referendum. Once approved, the government typically establishes a legal framework for the name change. This might involve amending the country's constitution or passing new laws related to the change. Now comes the international recognition of the new name. A nation's name is internationally recognized through treaties, agreements and diplomatic channels. The country must inform other nations, international organizations and the United Nations about the name change and request their recognition and acceptance. All official documents including passports, driver's licenses and government records need to be updated to reflect the new name. This can be a time-consuming process. It's important to note that the procedure can vary significantly from one country to another and the level of complexity depends on the nature of the name change and the country's legal and political processes. Additionally, the decision to change a nation's name is often driven by political, historical or cultural favors. and not all proposed name changes are successful yet many nations have gone through the process of changing their names here's a list of some of these countries that decided to embrace a new identity after the formation of the united nations Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.